Hi. In this video, we are going to see fatigue analysis of a student competition car upright using SOLIDWORKS simulation. As engineers, you all must be aware of the fact that static analysis is not the ultimate test to check the reliability and applicability of any design for any particular loading scenario. Even if the design appears to be safe in a static analysis with stresses way below the yield stress of the material, the component will fail if subjected to cyclic loading, even if the induced stresses are much below the peak stresses as revealed by the static analysis. And especially in automobile components, under practical conditions, every component undergoes cyclic and fluctuating loads. It becomes very important to carry out fatigue analysis of all the components. To carry out fatigue analysis using SOLIDWORKS simulation, it is very important to have one static analysis study as an event. As you all can see in this window, that I have already conducted a static analysis of this upright. If the load and constraints that you are seeing uh, over here are not quite familiar to you, please watch our video on static analysis of this particular upright. The link of the video is mentioned in the description. For this fatigue analysis, I have applied a vertical load of 1500 Newton, lateral force of 1500 Newton, and a longitudinal force of 1500 Newton all together on the upright. These values are less when compared to the loads actually applied for a static analysis, but are good enough to simulate the maximum cyclic load that can be applied on the upright while operating. After executing the static analysis, select a new study and select fatigue analysis. For fatigue analysis, you will have to apply the fatigue S and curves for the respective materials of hub and upright. Then right click on loading and click on add event. You will find the static analysis that you have conducted in the table. Select that study. For the number of cycles, select a considerably large value which is higher than your estimated maximum fatigue life. You can also select the type of loading. Here we are using fully reverse loading. After entering all these values, click on run. The fatigue analysis is executed and the damage and life results are obtained. As you can see that the minimum total life of the design is 10 to the power of 6 cycles, which is considerably good. We must also remember that we have applied all three orthogonal loads at the same time to simulate a worst case scenario, whereas in real life, we may never have such a scenario at any point of time. That was all for fatigue analysis of a competition car upright. We will be posting more videos on various topics for student competition car teams. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. For video requests on any topic or any queries, please post your comments or write to us at tensyracecars at gmail.com. Thank you.